Yeah. <laughs> so here we are <laughs> in uh, Gambling Gay. Mm. Yeah. Um, and uh, looking for the oxlips. Yay. And we're doing this in two parts. Uh, first of all, in the beginning of April, and once yeah. further, the, the second week of April. Yeah. Or third week in April, probably. <laughs> isn't it? Something like that. <laughs> right? Because, oh, yeah, uh, like... as you'll see, the first time there were a few oxlips, let's hope mm. um, that when we come back here, that the yeah. there'll be more oxlips. Yeah. But, uh, nice summer's day. This, lovely. Yeah. But this is it's lovely, sunny. it's a lovely sunny day. God, yeah, it's but gorgeous. all this is, is all a nature reserve here. Yeah, beautiful. So, and of course right behind us is the Oxford Woods. Yeah. So um yeah. lovely. And up there as well. So Take your yeah. dog for a walk, so we yeah, lovely. If you take your dog for a walk, it'd be ideal for that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Alright. Yay. <laughs> we just got here into the woods and uh I don't know how the woods yet are we boo? <laughs> and, uh, we've already well seen a, a primrose anyway and as I was saying to the gentleman just now the bluebells are coming out already which is uh, actually quite surprising at this time because uh, it's only like the beginning of April so far so uh, yeah, we'll see, see how we go, see if we can find any oxlips <laughs> they haven't seen any so <laughs> Well, we found this, which is, we're on the right trail, because trial, you see the stem there, uh, but it's got like a primrose flower. It's uh, actually a cross between a primrose and oxlip, what they call a false oxlip. So we know we're in the oxlip territory. Yay. So yeah. here you go, get a photograph of that as well. Yeah, better look a bit early for the oxlip. They're just coming up now, because as I say, it's, a, it's early. April, so but these there's a whole bunch of them here, a whole colony of oxlips, um, which is great. But you can see the difference, they're more rounded the leaves than the primrose. The primrose, you see, leaf is there, spatulate, whereas the oxlip leaf is more rounded. So, all these are, are lots of seedlings coming up. Uh, and there's the primrose again. No wonder they breed, which is shame because they may get bred out of existence. Which is sad. So here we are in the middle of the Oxlip wood. And uh, <laughs> it's, as you can see, uh, ancient woodland it is. It's, uh, there's new Saturdays coming up, but as you can see, and uh, we're here. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> Cole's got my hat back on. <laughs> You've got my hat back on. Yeah, so, and um, as you can see, there's quite a few scattered all over the place, these grain, the primroses growing in with the oxlips. The oxlips, of course, grow more in the darker parts, but there's a bit of everything here. And then further out on the field, there's cowslips. We won't go that far. Not on the first date, eh, hey, but... <laughs> <laughs> but that is beautiful. This is a beautiful little set of primroses here growing. That's what I like to see, actually. I'm growing right on the side of an old tree. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, and... Uh, Say goodbye to the Oxford Woods but, uh, and all the primroses there. They're gorgeous. Well, beautiful. Really, actually, in my opinion, this wood, ancient woodland where Shakespeare used to come. There you are, I say it is ancient woodland and you see all the moss growing, very damp, the oxlips love damp and you can see the oak leaves because this is an ancient oak woodland uh, oaks, everything depends on the oak of course, oak tree, can you see me? <laughs> there you go, beautiful, there we go, gorgeous, 
A bit of a slight mist here too, lovely. Ah, oh, the blossom coming out now for April. And here we find, just coming through the uh, grass, is some Horse tails, <coughs> horse tails, which actually are, I think I said, or one of the oldest plants they were around when the dinosaurs were around, except they were giant horse tails, they're the size of trees, these don't grow that long, so they're the precursor of grass and trees. And there you go, beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, light, isn't it lovely, that's where we've been, not over there, look. Over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, bye bye to the folks, everybody. Hey, uh, <laughs> <also>, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on our way out of that gate there yeah. now to go home. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, lovely. You alright? Yeah, I'll take a picture of Here is right. my second visit, uh, and I can see Dickie's shadow there. <laughs> on the second visit, we've uh, we've actually found cow strips growing in the field here, so um, which weren't here the first time. So um, there you go, so ho hopefully the oxalips will be better too, so and also I can see another one here, you see, it's just coming up, look at that, oh they're lovely, love them, yeah, brilliant. So here we are just inside the woods and um, you can see all the bluebells are out, which of course a couple of weeks ago there was, we only saw one or two at the time but there's loads more now so as you can see we quite and of course we've already seen first time since I've been coming here since the 60s we saw cow sleeves as we came in which is quite something but these this is beautiful Right, continue our hike. There we are, oxlip. And a uh, whole bunch of oxlips there. And here's uh, oxlip primrose cross. We call it a false oxlip. And here is a little buttercup um, winter night. Lovely. And here they are, another true oxlip, as you can see. The flowers that have got the marks in the middle. It's a paler colour and they've got smaller pedicels at the back. There. There you are, more false oxlips, which are uh, oxlip primrose crosses, and there's, there's another one over there. There's quite a few of them. And this is the danger, you see, where they grow together, primulas are quite. Um, they cross very easily and uh, this is a problem because there's primroses, oxlips and cowslips as we found on the outer perimeter of them and they all cross freely and that could eventually breed the oxlip out of existence sadly so we have to look after them. Further into the wood we find primroses, oxlips, looks like these oxlips are just finishing and as a bonus there's a blue bluebell there as well so that's a nice little pitch for Nicky to take there, or should I think, the Oxford for the Bluebell together. So, uh, there you go. And of course there's quite a lot of Bluebells coming up. So. And here's another little colony of true Oxlips. You can see, round the leaves, nodding flowers. Uh, very delicate. Lovely. Yeah, right. Solitary little violet. Well, I'm sure there's more further in the woods. But uh, yeah. this is where Shakespeare used to come to this wood, very wood. And he wrote Midsummer Night's Dream, set it in this wood, this very wood. There's oxlips and windflowers grow. Lovely. So there you go. And we'll come over here. And, uh, oxlips, more oxlips. There. And over here. There's a false oxlip. Cross between the two. And there's a true oxlip there. In fact, there's a whole colony here of true oxlips. 
uh, with a full shock slip behind that one. Uh, Trots it there. Oh, it's wonderful. Photo uh, if you're taking times. pictures of them. And yeah. here you can see there's a whole host of primrose. Yeah. Oxlips and false oxlips. There's loads of them, and there's a, there's a, a true false oxlip down there. A, a true oxlip, I mean. That's a true oxlip. Crazy, eh? Yeah. And look at them, aren't they beautiful? God. Loads. Oh, I'll say they are. Could be all day. <laughs> God, we could be. That's lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. And there we go. We leave the woods for a second woodland adventure this time and I can see some mm. I don't think we're gonna zoom in anymore. Mm. <laughs> I can't do it forever, can we Bobby? No. There you are. No. And uh, finally the trot slips and the fork sock slip. There you go. And the bluebell. Beautiful. Say goodbye to the woods for the second time. Uh -huh.